Hey, Dex here with another achievement guide on Deer Simulator. This is the 1000G in under 12 minutes achievement guide, where we're going to go through every single achievement on this game in under 12 minutes. The first one we've actually already seen unlocking, where we just need to set ourselves to be reborn. We're going to choose yes to be reborn, you have to do so. And you're going to get your first achievement, as you can see, popping at the bottom there. What we're going to do from here is we're going to go through all of the story-related achievements, get our way working through the story, get to the end, because all of the miscellaneous-related achievements are going to be a lot easier to do if we've completed the game. So what we're going to do to beat this game? Well, the main aim of the game is to get weapons, beat the police, beat the bosses, move to the next world, rinse and repeat. So like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to blow up some cars, some trucks, pick up some weapons. Even if you already have that weapon, you need to pick it up again. In the top right hand corner, you'll see that there is a letter that gets filled up. Obviously the rank higher the rank, the higher more wanted you want to be and the kind of the police get more and more tough. We need to work our way through all of the different letters until we get to A. The way that rating goes up is just by shooting buildings, destroying things, hitting things, just causing general havoc. But the main way is just destroy some buildings. Until eventually, you're going to get rank A. Now, rank A is going to get us to Doggo, as we can see here. So what we need to do is we need to get to this Colosseum over in the corner that we're going to run to. Once we get to there, we're going to take on this boss, beat him, and get our next achievement in the game. Like I said, there's plenty of miscellaneous achievements here, but we're ignoring them for now to carry on with the story. So the way we're beating him, Doggo, as you see there, we're going to shoot at his feet till he collapses. We're then going to shoot at the cars on either side of his shoulders, the police cars, until eventually they blow up, revealing a button. We're then going to jump on them buttons on both sides. That's going to be the first stage of the boss. The next stage is the dog's just going to become by itself and spin. We just need to shoot that dog, take him out, you win, you get your achievement. Bang, goes the first level completed. There we go. It's only taken us two minutes, two and a half minutes. And there's us defeating Doggo. From there, we're going to pick Doggo up by running towards him, picking him up. I'm going to run towards this temple. And we're going to drop him off on the dog button. Don't worry, as you can see, when flying off there, he doesn't have to stay staying on that button. We just need to press it down. We need to press the other button with our deer, activate the teleporter, and that takes us to the second and final world. Basically, I'm not going to insult your intelligence here. We're going to rinse and repeat on here. All we need to do is get that letter E all the way up to level A by destroying buildings, pick up weapons, obviously rumble. The police station is just on the right hand side from your spawn. You'll get to this area here, which is obviously where the police spawn. Whenever we change letters, going increasing through all the way to A and once that's completed there will be a portal opens up on top of the police station as you can see. I'm going to jump on top of that, we're going to press Y to travel through it to get to technically the final boss which is our future self, this one here. Best way to take down the future self is kind of wait until he gets the sword out, the ninja sword as you can see here. We don't want to use what the first one there, the lightsaber, when he uses the ninja sword and we want to kind of stay at the other side of the seat from him and then he can't get us until he gets about half health then the curse of D is going to spawn as well, we've got two people to play off again, try and stay behind this seat as best we can this throne, staying on the opposite side of it and as you can see, they can barely do any damage to you you can hit the, the either of the deers when they're standing on the other side take them both out, there we go now we have again the final stage of this battle where we have a rock paper scissors type event basically your first attack wants to be a weak event then it's a rock paper scissors where you need to see what he's doing then react to it if it's a barrier you want to do a strong attack if it's a strong attack you want to do a weak attack and if it's a weak attack you want to go barrier as you can see i've represented showing you all three different types that you can do like spinning rounds a strong attack till eventually you eventually beat them on the rock paper scissors game take all its health out and you will get the option to either shoot or no shoots uh basically we need to do both but the first time we're going to go and do shoot because that ends the game there rather than having to and we can get them more exciting there so sorry it's fire or no fire we want to choose fire and that's going to get us another achievement which we'll see popping down at the bottom should be there any second you can see at the top, achievement unlocked. 
And there we go, the 13th tier. What we want to do again is get the final story related achievement by going to do exactly the same thing again. You don't have to do all that is the, the different rankings. We just want to go teleport straight away to the future, then go on top of the police station. And this time we're going to choose no shoot when we get to the end of that boss battle. And you're going to have this horrendous kind of final, final, final boss battle. Trust me, this is the final, final boss battle. All you can really do here is run around in a circle and try and dodge attacks. You can either dodge by jumping or by just running around in a circle. I kind of do a combination of both of them till eventually you get to this stage here where you've got a little bit more dodging to do because when they're shooting the symbols, the symbols do lots of damage. I will tell you, if you do die, you get an extra heart the next time. So the more you die, the easier it gets till eventually this guy with the black hole comes and then you're at the final stage of the final, final, final boss. This is it. Dagon Rays of Doom are going to kill you quickly, so make sure you're going around. The hitboxes are extremely weird. Just ignore those hitboxes because then just take a chance to the final bit. Jump so you avoid it. And that's the end. You have beaten the story mode of Deer Simulator. And we'll have barely any achievements yet. But that's okay, because now we're at this point, we're on to our miscellaneous achievements, of which they are a, a rude word in terms of easiness. They are ridiculously easy. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to spawn in and run towards this giant cow on the right-hand side. And you're going to find yourself a basketball court. In this basketball court, we're going to find a cow. We're going to press Y to ride that cow, and that's going to get us our first miscellaneous achievement. Really simple. There you go, as you can see. 30G. Next thing we're going to do is find a random human and we're going to spam up on our D-pad to deerify and undeerify because we have to deerify 10 different people but it doesn't have to be different people and just be the same person. There we go. Now we're going to head back to our cow that we had before and fly towards this island with three buttons and we need to land our cow in the middle button and we're going to jump and stand on the final button which is going to release our metal deer that we can ride on. So there it is, I'm gonna to run towards it, we don't need the cow, go away Mr. Cow. We go jump, run towards it, and we're gonna climb on it, press and Y, and that's gonna get us another miscellaneous achievement. 70G this time, ridiculously easy as you can see. Like I told you before, once we beat the game, the rest of them's gonna be super easy. Restart, and there's gonna be a giant dragon in front of us. We get that for getting the true ending. And we're gonna use this dragon again to get another lot of achievements. We're going to fly this dragon back to the basketball court again. Lots of achievements over at the basketball court. And we're going to use our trigger to use the fire and take down all of the different cows and turn them into hamburgers. Which, once we do all of them, is going to get us another achievement. It's a rare achievement apparently worth 50g. See? See how easy it is. At this point we're going to take flight and fly towards this giant fish whaley thing. Uh, I don't really know what to call it. It's like looks like something from Avengers in my opinion, but it's basically a giant fish whale, or what are we going to call it? A Dunkiosaurus, something along them lines, a flying whale. Whoop whoop, that gets us our next achievement. We're going to fly into town, find the koala, flame the koala, and get another ridiculous amount of G just for flaming that koala. That was 140 G just for flying around and just using our flames on random things. Final one in this area, we're going to go towards the giant cow again, where you'll find a blue light to play cow fellow. Now this is really difficult to explain, this achievement, what you need to do. But basically, if you have a diagonal, you're the blacks. If you have a diagonal with the black in the space you're choosing, that'll turn all of the white cows black, as you can see there. Probably the easiest way to do this is just kind of trial and error. Just go randomly, just clicking away. I won on my first time, so it's not that difficult. Once we've done that, we're going to go teleport all the way to the future again and go towards that giant thing in the background. I don't know what that is. And we're going to go on easy difficulty to do this puzzle. Now, the thing about this puzzle is sometimes it's ridiculously easy, sometimes it's difficult. So this one I got by chance. I literally had no idea what I was doing, just press some random buttons. If you restart, which I'm going to show you here, the next time I had to do a puzzle, there was literally one change I had to do. One button. So if you kind of look at it and think that looks really difficult, just restart because as you can see here all I needed to do was rotate it once clockwise and that was it. I got that achievement. Well, I would have got that achievement. 
on to our final, final few achievements of the game. As you can see, we've only got a couple of minutes left. We're going to go find our dragon again, which I showed you where it was from spawn. You just run past the police station and it's once again in the car park. And we're going to use our flames on that rhino. The big rhino will spawn a smaller rhino. The controls of these dragons are quite difficult to master. They're a bit janky to say the least. So if you want to do what I want to do and land on the ground and just walk along and flame them. So another one spawns, etc. Until we have all of them destroyed. You'll know you've done all of them because the achievement will pop and it's as simple as that as you can see. And another one pops. Take that one as well. And I believe it's one more for the final one. This one here. We're going to use our flame, take that to zero, and there we go. Now, as we're looking at the rhinos, on the left-hand side, you can see a building with kind of white. We need to take out all of the humans at the bottom here, and it's going to spawn us another mini-boss. So just use your flame. Sometimes it kind of, the flames glitch a bit, and as you see, I had to get off, and I had to use the deer just as it is to go take out the last humans. But, yeah. Make sure you take out everybody in that area. And if you just see in the background right now, there is a monkey. We want to head to behind that monkey and then use our dragon again to flame it. That'll take out the monkey completely and that will pop its achievement. Well, it actually pops the I am dear achievement, which is getting all achievements, unlocking all achievements. But we get that because we also get the achievement for killing the monkey. And that's it. You've got your 1000G and as promised, under 12 minutes. I hope this guide helped out for you. If it did, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more daily guides. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.